Welcome to Mayday Hill. We are at the Beechworth Lunatic Asylum. It was built in 1857. Now, back in those days, you didn't have to be crazy to enter one of these asylums. You just had to be a little different. Two signatures to get in, eight to get out. This asylum is the sister asylum to Melbourne's Q Asylum and also the Ararat Asylum. Not as grand as the Q Asylum, but the layout is very similar. We'll have a little walk around and explore the um, grounds of this asylum. So Jojo, do you reckon if you lived back in the 1850s that they'd have you committed? Absolutely. Homosexuality was a criminal offence. Well, I wasn't even thinking of that. I was just thinking of you as you are. <laughs> I'm speechless. separated so they weren't allowed to mingle together and they had separate courtyards. Also Melbourne had such an influx of patients that they actually transferred quite a lot of the people here to, the, to this asylum. So we're at Mayday Hill and it gives us an opportunity of reflecting on what the style of treatment was back in those particular days. Reasonably crude by our current understanding, um, straitjackets, cold baths, 
or just isolation. It was just not very helpful at all. Um, I suppose we have to be very grateful that within the 50s, uh, some form of medicated treatments actually started to arise. And maybe that was just a, a beginning of how we understood a bit more about mental illness and it led to the deinstitutionalization of a number of these facilities. Behind me is what's called the haha -ha walls, which actually meant surprise, but it was basically to keep the inmates in. It was actually the perimeter of the asylum. But in 1958, these walls actually started to come down or they actually buried them. One other point, the, the asylum eventually became deinstitutionalized. Yeah, they were deinstitutionalized. In 1995. So the asylum actually closed. Yeah, but the ha, ha wall, Joe, is really because the levels were very different on each side. Correct. So it what we see so here... That you could see over the wall into the... Um, so people looking ground. in could see in, but the people on the other side could not get out. Correct. Because the land subsided very deeply to the wall. You got a spot on, Peter. Hmm. That's not much of a ha-ha, really. walking tour of Mayday Hill is coming to an end. Um, we finish up at the entrance where we started but also behind me is what we have uh, are the Lenica apartments as they're called now. They're accommodation but they once were the nurses quarters and I would suspect that was around the 40s and 50s when the building was, um, was built. So also to finish off um, I've collected a little sample of the pine cones. It's a little bit of a nice pine grove here, if you can have a grove of pines. Um, but um, anyway, a little bit of light and joy at the end of what was in part a pretty sombre visit. Bye for now. <laughs>